Okay, in this example, we're going to graph the hyperbola y squared divided by 9 minus x squared divided by 4 equals 1. So the first thing I recognize is, since it's y squared minus x squared equals 1, I know that my hyperbola is going to open upwards and downwards. So yeah, there's some numbers in the denominator, but again, the main thing is this y squared minus x squared equals positive 1. That tells me how it's going to open. So I'm going to write this as y squared over 3 squared minus x squared over 2 squared equals 1. Recall that the vertices occur at the point 0 plus minus a. Well, in this case, our a value is 3. Our b value, which we'll use in a moment, is just 2. So the vertices will occur at 0 plus minus 3. The covertices, those occur at plus minus the b value, which is 2, comma, 0. To get the asymptotes, the asymptotes are at y equals plus minus a divided by b multiplied by x. So here we have positive and negative 3 over 2 multiplied by x. And if you also want to find the foci, the foci occur at 0 plus minus c. Recall to get the c value, we have the relationship that c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Well, a squared is 9, b squared is 4, so c squared will equal 13. We can take the square root of both sides, keeping the positive solution, and we'll get c equals the square root of 13. So our foci will be at 0 plus minus the square root of 13. To me, to do a decent little sketch, the most important things for, to me are to get the vertices and the asymptotes. I mean, the covertices don't even fall on the graph. Neither do the foci. They're obviously important, relevant features. But uh, in terms of graphing it, I don't think we really need them much. So there's a, a vertex at 0, 3, 0, negative 3. One of our asymptotes is y equals 3 over 2x. So it goes through the origin. has a slope of 3 over 2, so up 3 over 2. I'm just going to put a little, little x there. And maybe I'll put another one over here. So let's see, I'm going to play connect the dots. Again, we make our asymptotes dotted. So there's one of my asymptotes. The other asymptote, we go down 3 over 2, so there's another one. And again, I'm just going to play connect the dots here. Try to make this go through the origin. Okay, and you, of course you can always plot some extra points to find some more points on your, your hyperbola. But again, we're doing kind of a rough sketch, so I'm just going to make this graph. Again, I know it opens upwards. It gets close to the asymptote. That's the, the whole point of these asymptotes. So there's the top branch. There's the bottom branch, and that would be a rough little sketch, again, of your, of your hyperbola. It never hurts to label a couple points, 0, 3. I guess you don't want it to be super cluttered, 0, negative 3. And again, if you wanted to, you could even label the foci and the covertices. But I'm going to leave them off my graph so it doesn't, get, doesn't look like a total mess.